I'm Derek Younger, KSO, here with Kansas State off the lineman target, Caden Weatherby from the Denver area. Uh, Caden, kind of just update us on where your recruitment currently stands right now with the Wildcats and some other schools. So right now, I mean, I'm really down to, uh, you know, Kansas State and Texas Tech. You know, I think those are just two schools that have, you know, kind of communicated with me and, you know, let me know that they want me and they're there to, you know, develop me and turn me into a, you know, possible, you know, NFL draft prospect. Um, and they just seem like the right fits for me. So, you know, I'm hoping to get some official visits in there and, you know, make a decision by the end of June. Okay, and when when are some of those scheduled official visits? Because I know you already got some in the plans. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to Kansas State, I believe the 17th of June or the 18th of June uh, for about two, two or three days. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I'll go to Texas Tech on the 11th of June to the 13th of June. Okay, so Texas Tech comes first, yeah. and then Kansas State. Yes. How quickly after that do you imagine yourself making your college decision? Because those are probably the two things you need to get out of the way first. Yeah, um, probably less than a week after, hoping okay. to, you know, be committed somewhere and have my future set. Okay, and then thirds of the way, K State's recruited you. Who are those coaches that you hear from the most, and what's kind of been their main recruiting pitch? Uh, so I hear from Coach Riley a lot, um, the O-line coach, uh, the quarterback coach, Coach Klein, you know, the former former player. Um, I get occasional texts from Coach Kleeman, you know, the head coach, and uh, Hayden Wall, and uh, also Coach Bratt, which I believe is the director of recruiting, so he's pretty cool. Um, and, you know, a lot of the times, you know, they're just like, you know, we want you here, and, and we think this is the place for you, and, you know, you know, they're like, you know, we watched your film, you know, uh, we think you'd be just a good fit here, so yeah. Have they compared you to anyone they've coached with or coached before or someone just an offensive lineman out there? Um, not yet, no. Okay, and then what, what have they said that specifically about your game that kind of was attractive to them? Uh, you know, just my aggressive play style and, you know, my love for, you know, run blocking and down blocking just kind of caught their attention because, you know, that's, that's kind of offense they like to run, you know. If we're not running, you know, I can still be effective on, you know, the pass rush and uh, whatnot. So they just said, you know, their offensive scheme fits to how I play as well. Just off of the tackle, left tackle, right tackle? Uh, they said, you know, uh, I've played both left and right sides before. So um, they said I would be a good fit at, you know, almost any position but center. And current height and weight at this point? Uh, I'm about 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, and probably around 270, 280. Okay, and then we talked a lot about Kansas State, of course. Uh, Texas Tech is the other contender. Yes. You actually got to visit them before COVID happened. Is, is that kind of an advantage for them a little bit because you've seen that campus and interacting with their coaches in person? Um, I wouldn't say so because, I, you know, I was still a sophomore and I didn't really get the full experience. You know, I just kind of was pretty limited. Uh, you know, they couldn't they couldn't talk to me too much. You know, they couldn't uh, run me around the facilities or any of that. It was, it was uh, kind of a half them, but also half self-directed visit. So mm -hmm. I, I don't think that gives them an edge. And what particularly stands out about the Red Raiders at this point? Uh, Matt Wells is obviously the coach for them. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, they're they're looking to, to kind of build on, on what they began last year. Yeah. Um, you know, they put uh, a couple linemen in the draft this year, um, and they also, you know, the same with K-State, have been communicating really well and, you know, just constant, you know, letting me know that they are interested and that they think I'd be a good fit. And um, they're also just uh, a good team. I love Lubbock. Um, you know, I love the area, so I think I think it's great that you came down to you know, these two really awesome schools. And lastly, what's going to be you know, maybe one or two things that you're really focused in on when you visit these programs that could tip the scales one direction or the other? You know, I think it's going to be a lot about the atmosphere and, you know, just how I feel, not exactly, you know, the physical, you know, what's there and what's not. I think it's just going to be, you know, how I'm feeling, um, you know, how the people are, how the people treat me, um, and just the players as well. You know, I'll, I'll get to uh, hang out with some of the players and I think, you know, the kind of, you know, feeling and, you know, thoughts that I get from them, I think are going to also be a huge uh, impact on where I go. All right. He's Caden Wendelby. Thanks for your time, of course, and stay tuned to KSL.